Hi everyone! Welcome to the Greater Vancouver Zoo in our North American Wilds video keeper chat. I'm Martha and today I'm inside one of our large North American animal enclosures. In here with me are elk, bison, and white-tailed deer. We call this a multi-species habitat. And that just means that there are different types of animals from the same region living in one enclosure. This type of habitat is great for the animals because it gives them a chance to coexist and interact with each other like they would in the wild. Now, while this type of habitat is great for the animals, it proves a bit of a challenge for us keepers. And that's because while they're all herbivores, that doesn't mean that they all eat the same type of food. The elk eat alfalfa hay, the bison and the white-tailed deer eat grass hay, and they all eat a different type of pelleted grain feed. The difference in food is just because of the animal's needs for different minerals, nutrients, and protein. But while the bison aren't supposed to eat the alfalfa, they think it is mighty tasty. So the challenge is to feed the elk and the bison separately and not have the bison go and steal the elk food. That is where training comes in training and a consistent feeding schedule. So every day when I show up at feeding time, I feed the bison on one side of the enclosure and then go and feed the elk on the other side of the enclosure. Now you would think because there are five elk and two bison, the elk would be able to protect their food and keep the bison away. That is not the case. The bison rule this enclosure. So on some days when I show up, like today, the bison are on the wrong side of the enclosure. So I need to lure them to the other side before I can feed them. This takes patience. The bison move when and where they want to. Now it might be tempting if I'm in a rush or have other tasks to complete to just feed them where they are and be done with it. But as all other zookeepers, pet owners, and probably parents will agree, if you give in once, it's over. So let's get those bison moving. Bison are one of the most iconic symbols of North American history and were once widespread across much of North America from Alaska all the way down to northern Mexico. Unfortunately, due to mass slaughter and hunting in the 19th century, they were almost completely wiped out to extinction. Today, due to recovery and conservation efforts, they've been re-established back into the wild and number in the tens of thousands. Let's go feed the elk while the bison are busy. enclosure we only have our female elk. The male elk live in another, in another enclosure and that's to control breeding. The male elk are slightly bigger and have a large set of antlers on their head but otherwise look very similar. So elk are social animals and in the summer females can form herds of hundreds of animals dominated by a single cow or female. We have a dominant female in our small herd here at the zoo too. Her name is Bridget. We have one last stop. Let's go feed the white-tailed deer. So here at the white-tailed deer, we've created a special feeding area for them that only they can enter. And that's because they're so much smaller than the other animals, they'd be easily pushed off their food. White-tail are easily distinguished by that white flag of a tail that they stick straight up in the air as a sign of danger or alarm. They look very similar to the black-tailed deer, which are much more common around BC's lower mainland. So the next time you see a deer grazing in a meadow or maybe eating the veggies in your backyard garden, take note of their tail. They're also a very nervous animal. You can see them way back over the hill. They're a little bit scared until I put the food down. So this is my last stop for the day. On to the next, they say. No rest for this zookeeper or any zookeeper really. So I hope you guys have a great day. And next time you come to the Greater Vancouver Zoo, See if you can spot all the different animals living in our North American enclosure.